Before the video starts, today's shout out winner goes to Proxy. If you guys want a chance to win a shout out in the next video, drop a like and a comment down below, subscribe with notifications on, and I will pick somebody randomly that will be shouted out in my next video. I hope you guys enjoy. Yo, what's going on guys, Tsuki here, and we actually have some quite interesting juicy stories for today's video. The first story is coming from a guy named Mr. Conrem and Evade. And now just a little backstory on the situation, Mr. Conrem was just streaming on Twitch, you know he was just relaxing and playing some customs, and he has over 60k followers on Twitch and he is partnered. However, something juicy happened during a stream. Mr. Conram tweeted out saying, Yo, at Avaid, you have two of your members stream sniping me and griefing my customs. Great organization, great players. And Mr. Conram also posted a video of the proof, and I will play that video for you guys right now. But before you guys watch it, go grab some food to eat, you know? It gets pretty juicy. I don't know, guys, grab some cookies and milk, um, chips, you name it, man, gummies, I don't know, whatever. You know what, guys? Comment down below right now and tell me what you're eating as you're watching this video. I actually want to know. Not near you, bud. Oh, I got, I got two taps. Eve Tendi's griefing. The fuck? Isn't that the guy Mike was playing with? Yeah. It'd be the ones you'd least expect, man. Hey, GGS. I was Evade the Blizzard and Eve Tendi. I was the stream snipe. Is there a space in between Tendi's name, or is that just... I don't know. Is that I actually them? Tell. Oh yeah, it, it's them. If, if, that, if there's a space in between Tendi's name, I can tell if that's him or not. So that was pretty insane, you know. You can just see it in Mr. Conram's face that he was not happy. And Evade Tendi and Blizzard even danced on his body. However, guys, after this blew up on Twitter, Evade Tendi replied to Mr. Conram's tweet by saying, I'll take the blame for it. Sorry, it's mad late. And we are super bored. Have a good rest of your stream. If I can make it up to you, let me know anytime. Evade Tendi also tweeted out saying, I just want to say I am sincerely sorry to Mr. Conram about taking time away from his stream and doing what I did. I was not thinking at the time and felt bad right after I did it. I'm going to make it up to him personally and his viewers. Evade Blizzard, who was also involved in the situation, he said on Twitter, apologized and donated. Wasn't using my head. So you know guys, at the end of the day, Evade Tendi and Evade Blizzard did apologize for what they did, and they did make it up for Mr. Conram. But let me know what you think of the situation in the comment section down below. And speaking of Evade, this next story is absolutely insane. So out of nowhere today, the official Evade Twitter tweeted this out. So obviously you guys are looking at it right, and you're probably thinking to yourself, okay what's so special about this tweet? It's just a bunch of numbers you know. But actually guys, these are actually coordinates. And if you copy and paste these exact coordinates on Google, you can see that these are the coordinates for New York, USA. And once again, you guys are probably thinking to yourself, okay, what's so cool about this? It's just coordinates for New York, right? However, if you guys think outside the box, this could mean that Evade is getting a team house in New York. And me personally, I think they are. Because why else would the official Evade Twitter tweet the coordinates out of New York? Because honestly, let's think about it. What does Evade have in New York? Exactly, they have nothing in New York. There is no reason why Evade tweeted these coordinates out other than the fact that they are getting a team house in New York. As a matter of fact, I'm not the only one that thinks this. A lot of people in the replies are also saying the same thing. But let me know what you think this tweet means. I want everyone to drop a comment down below. We need to hear everyone's opinion, you know? Also, let me know that if Evade does in fact get a team house in New York, which Evade members do you want to see living in the house? Drop it in the comment section down below. Our next story is coming from Ghost X. Now, X is actually stuck in a bubble right now. He tweeted out saying, contemplating whether I want to quit Fortnite or not. Uh, just don't know what to upload and I'm unhappy with the game. So holy guys, X is thinking about quitting Fortnite. And you know, X is a YouTuber with over 500k subscribers and he mainly blew up from playing Fortnite and X isn't the only one unhappy with Fortnite right now. Ghost Shaw said on Twitter, just cross your fingers and pray that Fortnite has one update that makes me play 12 plus hours a day again. Ghost Lewis said on Twitter, I know a lot of you want me to keep playing Fortnite but I can't bro. It's not for me. And I know I was good enough but I was having no fun doing it. I know I'm losing many supports and I saw it coming and that's a part of the movie. Movement. For those who keep supporting, I for real love you all. And honestly, if you're truly not having fun with the game, and you are forcing yourself to play a video game just to make a video, that video isn't gonna turn out the best, you know? So hopefully Fortnite changes their stuff in the next update. But let me know how your experience of Season 9 is going so far. Are you guys having fun? Are you enjoying it or not? Drop it in the comment section down below. Our next story is coming from Nick Merckx. Now, if you guys don't know who Nick Merckx is, he is a YouTuber of almost 2 million subscribers, and he is also a really big Twitch streamer. But I'm sure most of you guys know who he is. 
Thieves. But regardless, he actually ended up leaving 100 Thieves. And Nick Merckx has been of 100 Thieves from the very beginning, and I'm sure this was not an easy decision for him to make. By the looks of it, it seems like Nick Merckx left because of false promises. In the video he uploaded regarding the situation, this is what he had to say. Um, yeah, yeah yo, the, the 100 Thieves thing, man... I don't know, bro. Like when I when I joined that team, it was a long time ago, and it was a different time. We had a me me and Nade had a plan. I thought the plan was pretty fucking simple. You know, the plan the plan for him and I was me move out to LA, and doing that, we, you know, we could get together a little bit more. I could be more hands on with everything, and and that would make things a lot easier, right? Because we're both out there, and also, you know, it was for basically me to to elevate you know, to, to fucking grow. And I, I did that. I mean, we, I don't know if we did it in the way that he thought we'd do it, but the plan was for me to go out there and grow, you know? And, and I, and I mean, I'll be honest, guys, I, I don't even know what I'm doing a week from now. So, you know, when, 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 when we talked about that, we talked about vlogging and stuff, but I mean, I didn't want to, I didn't want to be a vlogger. I never said that. We had talks about doing different types of content, but, and I said that I would try things out and I did. And I just didn't like it. I liked streaming and I liked playing. You know what I'm saying? And maybe he got sick of streaming and playing and, and did some other things. Also, he had to take some time off to do things on the business end. You know what I mean? Um, I offer my help uh, an abundance of times, you know. We, to, 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 to wrap it up, I mean, we, we went out there. The plan was for me to grow. And in turn, that would grow 100 Thieves, right? That was my role. You know, and, and, and he, he made some promises to me as a friend, and how, how we were going to do it, how he was going to take care of me. It just didn't end up happening, man. I Nick Merckx then goes on to say that he is no longer friends with Nate Shaw anymore. I don't hate the guy, you know. I definitely don't hate him, but I don't like him. You know, he, him and I are not cool. We're never going to be cool. I don't want nothing to do with him. I never do business with, with him. I'll never sit down at a table with him ever again. You know, and that that's, you go through life and you you just, bro, you learn things. You literally learn things. I mean, are they doing good work over 100 Thieves? Yeah, you know, but for me, when you give me your word and you promise certain things to me as a friend and a business partner, and I put years of time into into something that we, that we basically started, and then everything changes, and I don't get what I was promised, I mean, I got problems with it, you know? So, it sucks. It's not, it's not the best situation. It's not going to be what you guys want to hear, but it is the truth. And it's in, it is what it is, you know? So, no, we're not cool. And no, we're not friends. And I don't want anything to do with them at all. And, and not everything is always as, as it seems, man. I mean, we, we, we talked for a long time about 100 Thieves. And we, I mean, bro, I put years of that shit. I put years of work in under the 100 Thieves umbrella when I could have been playing for somebody else. And I didn't make a dime for years, you know, but I could have been playing for somebody else, but I didn't. So, I don't know, man. So damn, guys, that's crazy. I wonder what happened between him and Nature that made him leave the team. Nick Merckx also posted a statement on Twitter, and this tweet did numbers. This is what he said. So excited for this next chapter. I've got everything I need. The friends, the family, and the fam. We've laid down the foundation for the future, and I'm thankful for every one of you that has been a part of the journey back home to Michigan. We are back to business as usual today, and for me, that means continuing to work to be happy, to take care of myself, and take care of those that matter the most to me and my happiness. With that, I am moving Moving on to the next chapter of my life and have decided that I will no longer be a member of 100 Thieves, effective immediately. So holy guys, drop a comment down below and let me know what you think happened between Nick Merckx and Nate Shaw and what team you think Nick Merckx is gonna join next. Our next story is pretty insane guys. This one's coming from Tifu. Now Tifu is actually back on Twitch. As we already know, Tifu hasn't been streaming the last few days because of the phase and contract stuff you know, but regardless Tifu tweeted out saying, I'm back, retweet. He then tweeted out saying, tonight's stream was one for the books. The love and support was truly phenomenal and in the screenshot he provided Tifu almost got 1 million unique viewers for that stream that's absolutely insane you know as a matter of fact Tifu qualified again for a world cup solo so it looks like Tifu is back on his grind and there hasn't been an update for the phase and contract situation but I'm sure FaZe Clan and Tifu are working with their lawyers behind the scenes to get it all figured out and if you want to be kept up to date with that story be sure to subscribe with notifications on our last story is once again coming from Evade they ended up picking up a few more streamers to their team the official Evade Twitter 
tweet out saying, A massive welcome to Heal Mike, NetJay, and I spot you drop. The newest additions to our stream team. We are excited to be working with them. Hashtag evade us. So make sure you guys congratulate those three on joining evade. They grinded really hard for it and they deserve it. But that's all the news for today guys. If you guys happen to enjoy the video, drop a like and a comment. And if you want to be kept updated with everything that happens, make sure to subscribe with notifications on. Okay, peace.